The latest series of the crime drama The Tunnel offers a fascinating insight into the future of television. Only 3% of the audience of nearly 900,000 watched the show at its scheduled time of broadcast. All six episodes of the British-French thriller were released simultaneously in December by Sky Atlantic and 70% of viewing was on demand as fans binged on the series either before or after its actual broadcast. Further 27% recorded the show to watch at their convenience. Hardly anyone viewed it live, notes Barb, the broadcast industry research body, in a detailed study, The Viewing Report, which has deciphered significant changes in how we watch TV shows. Tablets have become our preferred mobile screen for watching online TV between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m., peaking at 7 a.m. with 58% of all viewing. This is due to two things, commuters viewing shows on their way to work and parents using tablets as breakfast time childminders. Today's kids, aged 4 to 15, watch more TV on mobile devices than they do on the telly itself. In the middle of the day there is a marked shift to watching TV on the PC, which Barb says is driven by workplace viewing in the lunch hour. This behavior peaks at 2 p.m. Smartphones only come into their own late at night, reaching a pinnacle at 2 a.m. While smartphones are always within reach, they are rarely the first choice device for viewing TV content. The rise of bigger and smarter television sets has ensured a stay of execution for the goggle box. Given the chance, people will gravitate to the biggest screen in the house, says Justin Sampson, Barb's chief executive tells me. We're still spending time in front of the TV while viewing of scheduled TV declined from an average 212 minutes a day per person in 2016 to 203 minutes last year. The overall time spent in front of the set remained almost the same because 16% of TV viewing was of non-scheduled shows, such as on-demand content from Netflix, Amazon Prime and Sky Now TV. This number grew to 19% during the recent Beast from the East snowstorms. Netflix is now in 8.2 million UK households but its 25% growth last year, 1.6 million new subscriptions, was outperformed by Amazon Prime, which expanded by 41% to a subscriber base of 4.3 million. Now TV grew 40% to reach 1.5 million households. Overall, 36% of UK households have such services and, because these are overwhelmingly family homes, 55% of children and 62% of 16 to 24 year olds have access. Women are most likely to watch shows on demand, while men are the biggest users of live streaming, especially sports events. Blue Planet 2 was the most watched TV program in 2017, photo, BBC, with 63% of people with TV having access to connected sets, the ability to watch shows on demand on a big screen means the anticipated audience migration to mobile devices hasn't quite come to pass. According to Barb, TV viewing on tablets and smartphones added only 1.3% to total TV set viewing levels. Viewing on devices, it says, is conspicuous because it's often being done in public or on the move, leading to a belief that it might be higher than it actually is. This could change. Among 16-34s, 24% of online TV viewing is on mobile, compared to 15% on TV sets. What we watched in 2017 Four characters shaped Britain's viewing last year, Donald Trump, the Brexit minister David Davis, the embattled Syrian president Bashar al-Assad and the Great British Bake Off judge Prue Lee. Together, they helped ensure that factual and news programs accounted for 29.3% of viewing, a sharp increase from three years ago when drama was the genre on every commissioner's lips. In these fascinating times, reality can beat escapism. BBC One dominates British TV viewing. It screened seven of the top ten shows in 2017, including the most-watched Blue Planet 2, and the most popular drama, Sherlock. The channel took 21.8% of all viewing and the BBC as a whole had 31.6%, compared to ITV's 21.7%. BBC One Dramas, Gunpowder, and Top of the Lake, China Girl, and BBC Two's Motherland, were the best performing box set shows on demand. Sky might be flush with cash but its premier channel Sky One had a smaller audience than CBB's, Barb reports. BBC iPlayer on Friday reported its best ever quarter, with 315 million program requests. Barb found that, 50% of all iPlayer viewing in 2017 was via connected TVs and this proportion appears to be steadily growing. Viewing habits are changing, but Netflix and Amazon need not be the only winners.